Are you struggling with low FPS, frustrating input delay, or laggy gameplay? This is the ultimate Windows optimization guide for gaming in 2025. Learn how to boost your FPS, reduce input delay, and unlock peak gaming performance all in one easy to follow guide. Stop searching, this is the only guide you'll ever need to dominate the game. So hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, let's dive in. Frustrated with lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Start by searching for the registry editor and running it as an administrator. Once it's open, copy the first path from description and paste here, then hit enter. First, find the affinity setting and change its value data to F. Make sure the base is set to hexadecimal, then confirm by clicking OK. Next, locate background o only, set its value to false and apply the change. Proceed to GPU priority, modify its value data to E, ensure the base is still hexadecimal and confirm by clicking OK. For the priority setting, adjust the value data to 6 and save the change. Lastly, set both scheduling category and FSIIO priority. To high, confirming each adjustment. By applying these changes, your system allocates resources more efficiently for gaming, resulting in smoother and more responsive performance. Now guys copy the next path from description and paste it here, then hit enter. This will disable CPU core parking, ensuring that your CPU runs at its full potential. Next, locate the max value in the registry editor. Click on it, select modify, and set the value data to 100% to maximize your CPU's performance. Set the base to hexadecimal and click OK. Then find the minimum value, modify it, and set it to zero. Again, set the base to hexadecimal and confirm by clicking OK. For further optimization, we'll prioritize foreground applications. Copy the last registry path from the description, paste it into the registry editor, and press Enter. This will open the required window. Now find Win32 Priority Separation, right-click it, and select Modify. In the Value Data field, enter 26, set the base to hexadecimal, and click OK. Finally, save the changes to your PC. These optimizations will improve your system's overall performance, especially during demanding gaming sessions. In the next step, guys, search for Services to open the Services Manager. The first service to locate is Background Intelligent Transfer Service. This service handles background file transfers, often using idle network bandwidth, which can slow down your system. To disable it, select the service, right-click, and choose Properties. In the Properties window, change the startup type from Manual to Disabled, then click Apply and OK. If the service is running, make sure to stop it by clicking the Stop button before applying these changes. Next, scroll through the list of services to find remote desktop services. This service manages remote desktop connections, which are unnecessary unless you actively use this feature. To disable it, right-click on the service, select Properties, and set the startup type to Disabled. Confirm your changes by clicking Apply and OK. The third service to address is SysMain, formerly known as Superfetch. SysMain is designed to improve app launch speed by preloading frequently used programs into memory, but this can sometimes cause performance issues. To disable it, locate SysMain in the list, right-click, and choose Properties. Change the startup type to Disabled. If the service is running, click Stop, then apply the changes and click OK. By disabling these three services, Background Intelligent Transfer Service, Remote Desktop Services, and SysMain, you can free up valuable system resources and enhance your PC's performance. Next, open the search menu again and type Focus. Select Focus Assist from the search results. This feature is designed to reduce distractions by managing notifications. It's especially useful when gaming or working on tasks that require full concentration. You can configure Focus Assist to block notifications during specific activities, such as gaming or when your screen is in full screen mode. If you prefer minimal interruptions, you can select the Alarms Only option, which limits notifications to critical alerts like alarms. Adjusting these settings ensures a smoother, distraction-free experience tailored to your needs. Now go to the Windows search bar and type Delivery. 
From the list of results, select Allow Downloads from Other PCs. By default, Windows enables your PC to act as a server, allowing other devices on your local network, or even nearby systems, to use your PC for faster Windows update downloads. While this feature can be useful in some cases, it can also put unnecessary strain on your system's resources. To ensure optimal performance and prevent your PC from being used this way, make sure to disable this feature entirely. Next, search for mouse settings in the Windows search bar and click on additional mouse options. In the window that appears, go to the pointer options tab. Here, ensure that enhanced pointer precision is turned off. While this setting is helpful for everyday tasks like browsing and typing, it can negatively affect gaming. It adds an extra layer of sensitivity that interferes with precise mouse movements, reducing accuracy, especially in fast-paced or highly precise actions. Disabling this option ensures a smoother and more precise gaming experience. Finally, click OK to apply the change. Now you need to download some tools to optimize your Windows system. I've put together the best tools pack for you. Simply download it from my website. The link is in the description. Feel free to check this pack with any virus detection tool or website. It's completely virus free. First, double tap to open the executable file and install PC Manager on your PC. Once the installation is complete, launch PC Manager. The first thing you'll see is its interface. Navigate to the Home tab where you'll find the PC Boost option. Click on the Boost button to start optimizing your PC by cleaning junk files. Next, go to the Protection section. Here, you can scan your PC for viruses and remove any threats to ensure your system remains secure. After that, head to the Storage section. Click on the Scan button to perform a deep scan of your hard drive. This will help identify and remove junk or unnecessary files, freeing up valuable space on your system. Once you've completed these steps, simply close PC Manager. Your system is now optimized. Now guys run the MSI utility. Open the application with administrator privileges by right-clicking and selecting Run as Administrator. Once the tool launches, it will display a list of devices that support message signaled interrupts, MSI. Locate your network adapter and set its priority to high by selecting the appropriate option. Next, find your GPU in the list and set its priority to high as well to boost graphical performance. After selecting both devices, check the boxes for the ones you wish to enable MSI mode on, then click Apply to activate the changes. This tool is particularly useful for optimizing system performance and reducing hardware-related latency. To maximize your CPU's performance, start by installing the Park Control application, one of the best tools for optimizing power settings. Once installed, launch the app and scroll down to select a performance profile. For the best results, choose Bitsum Highest Performance. Now, adjust the settings for maximum CPU efficiency. Disable Parking AC, Parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC, and Frequency Scaling DC. Set all of them to 100% to ensure full CPU utilization. Next, enable Bitsum Dynamic Boost, a feature that smartly manages CPU threads. It turns off unused threads during light tasks like browsing, but activates all threads when running demanding applications, ensuring maximum power when needed. In the Power Options section, verify that Bitsum Highest Performance is selected. This setting helps your CPU maintain peak performance, resulting in better FPS in games and smoother multitasking. Finally, double check that all settings are at 100%, then click Make Active and apply to save the changes. With these optimizations, your CPU will run at its best, improving both system performance and gaming experience. Next, we're going to use Ultimate Windows Tweaker UWT version 4.8 for Windows 10. If you're using Windows 11, make sure to download the compatible version. After launching the application, you'll see an interface with multiple tabs. The first step is to go to the Performance tab and adjust the settings accordingly. Make sure to copy my settings exactly and disable everything I've turned off. Some key settings you need to disable include Tablet Input Services, Microsoft Edge Preloading, Printer Spooling Services. Also disable the Search Index feature. This can significantly boost performance by removing another background process that consumes system resources. However, keep in mind that doing this will prevent you from using Windows Search in the future. If you don't rely on Windows Search, I highly recommend turning it off. Before applying any tweaks, create a restore point using the option at the bottom of the tool. This ensures you can revert changes if anything doesn't work as expected. Once done, click Apply to save the adjustments. 
Next, switch to the Security tab. No changes are needed here, so leave everything as it is. Then, go to the Privacy tab and enable all the options. These settings control background services that collect and transmit data to Microsoft, which can slow down your system. Enabling all privacy settings helps prevent unnecessary data collection, freeing up resources for better gaming performance. After making the changes, click Apply Tweaks. Finally, navigate to the additional tab and look for an option called Network Adapter Onboard Processor. Many modern motherboards include a built-in network processor, but for some reason, this feature is disabled by default. When it's off, your CPU is forced to handle network-related tasks, which can negatively impact gaming performance. To fix this, enable the Network Adapter Onboard Processor setting, apply the tweaks, and then close the tool. Now install Memreduct. Once installed, open the program and you'll see a window displaying your current RAM usage. At the top of the interface, there's a button labeled Clear Memory. When you click this button, Memreduct clears unused memory, instantly lowering your RAM usage. Each time you click Clear Memory, more RAM is freed up, helping to improve your system's performance. This is particularly useful when running memory-heavy applications or when your computer feels sluggish. You can use this feature multiple times to keep your system running smoothly without needing to restart or perform complex optimizations. Now we have our filter key application to reduce input delay while gaming. To begin, simply right-click on it and ensure that you run it as an administrator. Once you click Yes, the filter key setter interface will appear on your screen. Here, you need to enable the required options by placing a check mark on Available, Confirm Activation, and Show Status. These settings will ensure that the filter key function is properly activated. Once you have done this, navigate to the left side of the interface where you will find the settings for Ignore Quick Key Stock and Repeat Rate. First, locate the Ignore Under setting and set it to 0 MS. Then, move on to the Repeat Delay and set it to 200 pounds. Finally, adjust the repeat rate and set it to 25 MHz. These values will help fine-tune the keyboard response for optimal performance. Now you will notice a value displayed as 40 per second. This is the ideal setting for achieving the lowest possible keyboard delay. Keeping this value at 40 per second will enhance your typing speed and responsiveness significantly. Lastly, locate the When Applied settings and ensure that you checkmark the option Save to Registry. This step is crucial as it allows Windows to store your new settings permanently. Once everything is set, click on the OK button and the adjustments will be successfully applied to your Windows registry. Next, search for Game Mode in Windows settings and turn it on. This feature helps improve gaming performance by prioritizing your game and reducing background processes that might slow it down. Now, go to Graphics Settings and enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. This shifts some processing tasks from the CPU to the GPU, boosting performance, especially in resource-heavy games. Next, optimize specific games for better performance. Under Graphics Settings, select Desktop App and click Browse to find the game's executable .exe file. Navigate to the game's installation folder. For example, if optimizing Fortnite, go to its folder, open Fortnite game, binaries, win64, and select fortnite.exe. The same method applies to Valorant, Counter-Strike, and other games. Just locate their .exe file. After adding the game, click Options, choose High Performance, and then hit Save. That's it. Your game is now optimized for better performance. Let's optimize your drives to improve both their performance and your system's responsiveness. Start by opening the Start menu, typing Defrag into the search bar, and selecting Defragment and Optimize Drives from the results. This will open a window displaying all the drives connected to your system. Select the drive you want to check, whether it's an SSD or HDD, and click the Analyze button. This will scan the drive to determine if optimization is needed. For HDDs, it will show the percentage of fragmented files, while for SSDs, it checks whether the drive requires optimization. If the analysis confirms that optimization is necessary, select the drive and click Optimize. For SSDs, this process is nearly instant, whereas HDDs may take longer depending on their size, stored data, and level of fragmentation. It's advisable to optimize any flagged drives regardless of the time required. 
You can even close the window after initiating the process, as it will continue running in the background without impacting your work or gaming performance. Now, search System in the Windows search bar and select System Configuration. Once open, navigate to the Boot tab and click on Advanced Options. When you reach the number of processors setting, set it to the maximum available. Using the maximum number of processors allows your CPU to perform at its full potential. For those with lower-end PCs, I recommend not directly copying my settings, especially for the timeout value. A 30-second timeout is a good starting point. For high-end PCs, you can reduce it to 10 seconds, but keep in mind that this works best on faster systems. I personally have a mid-to-high range PC, so 10 seconds works great for me. If you have a laptop or a less powerful PC, set the timeout to 20 seconds. You can experiment by gradually lowering it from 30 seconds to find the best balance for your system. Then go to the Services tab and check Hide all Microsoft services. Then review the list and uncheck any services that are not essential during startup. For example, I've disabled all unnecessary services. Once you've made your selections, click Apply, hit OK and exit without restart. Go to the Windows search bar, type Advanced System Settings and click on the matching result. In the System Properties window, go to the Performance section and click on the Settings button. Once the Performance Options window appears, switch to the Advanced tab. Under the Virtual Memory section, click on the Change button. Deselect the option labeled Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives to manually adjust the settings. This gives you full control over virtual memory allocation, preventing Windows from dynamically adjusting it, which can cause performance fluctuations. Select your local disk, as C, as this is where the virtual memory will be allocated. Keeping it on the main system drive ensures faster data access and stability. Enter 1361 MB in the initial size field. This value is optimized to provide a stable minimum virtual memory size, reducing unnecessary disk writes. Calculate the maximum size based on your total RAM. Multiply your RAM in GB by 1024 to convert it into megabytes. For example, if you have 16 GB of RAM, multiply 16 to 1024 equal 16384 MB. Then divide this by 2, which gives 8192 MBB, and enter this value in the maximum size field. Setting a fixed upper limit prevents excessive hard drive usage while ensuring enough backup memory for demanding tasks. Click on the Set button to confirm the changes, then hit OK to apply them. These settings help improve system efficiency, reduce lag, and ensure smoother performance when running multiple applications. Go to the search bar and type Privacy and Security, then select it from the results to open the settings. Once inside the Privacy and Security section, start by reviewing the options under Windows Permissions. Carefully examine each setting and disable any permissions that you find unnecessary. Begin with the General tab, turn off all listed permissions, as they typically include options that allow apps to track your activity or display personalized ads. After that, proceed to sections like speech, typing and personalization, and diagnostic and feedback. In each of these, disable any features that aren't essential, such as speech recognition or diagnostic data sharing. Next, scroll down to the App Permissions section, where you'll find a list of individual applications and their associated permissions. Review each category, such as location, camera, microphone, voice activation, contacts, and calendar. For example, if you don't use location services, turn them off entirely. Similarly, for apps you don't rely on, such as those for email, tasks, messaging, or radios, disable their permissions to prevent unnecessary background activity. This will ensure that your system isn't allocating resources to unused features, leading to improved performance and efficiency. That's it. By following these steps, you've optimized your Windows PC for the best gaming performance. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Also, drop a comment below if you have any questions or want more guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.